Hello everybody, EG Restorations, and today, through completing utter boredom, I am going to restore my bird bath. Yes, don't laugh, it's not very technical, but it's colour by numbers, isn't it? I've disassembled it and I've cleaned up all the iron parts, so as you can see, I've just started. Now you cannot paint bird baths, the bath area, in white. Birds are scared of white. There you go, you learn something new every day, don't you? Here is the shaft, or the stem, if you like. There is the base, that goes on there, like so. And here is little Tweety Pie. I don't know what colour to do Tweety Pie yet. I might colour it sort of, I don't know, like, like a eagle colour, so it scares all the birds. I don't know. Here's the old fixing screws, as you can see. They are pretty skunky, no expense spared there. So I've got some nice uh, stainless steel replacements to do the job. Right, I know it's not really technical, but I do have all my old enamel paints that I've just literally gotten out of the shed. So we've got we've got a white there. I've just Googled white, so those three are out of the question. Mm -mm -mm. So we have a selection of reds. Obviously yellows and sort of uh, primrosey kind of colours. What's this one? I don't know. Oh, it's, oh shit. <laughs> it's blue. That should be inside there. Oh yeah, I've put it on there to keep it out of the way. Mucky old pop. So we have black, we have gold, which isn't brilliant to paint with, as you've seen before. We have some silvers and grey. We have a hammerite grey and we have the green. So, there we go. It's uh, not, not my normal kind of thing, but as I'm literally not allowed to do anything, i.e. walk about or stand up too much, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. So here is today's uh, challenge. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling good today, which is excellent. Uh, and I want to do something constructive. I, I, I used to do art at school. I've got an O-level art. So uh, I'm going to put my O-levelness to good use today. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Um, it was nice to see uh, see you, Richard, yesterday. Popped over and dropped off another project for me, which was a, a ZX Spectrum uh, to re to restore. Basically, it doesn't it powers up, but it doesn't doesn't come on. Apparently, uh, the keyboard doesn't do anything. It's dead. So uh, yeah, hello, Richard and Jenny. Hi Jenny, um, and hello to everybody else I know. Um, uh, Paul, uh, whenever you like, mate, that's not a problem, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, and Lynn, uh, Brian, Tracy, Kevin, oh, Emma, uh, everybody really. Um, Andy, all the Andys, <laughs> and all the feeties. <laughs> oh, it's good to laugh, isn't it? Right, I've got things to paint. Let's crack on. Ooh. Right, well, I've got the first coat down. There we go. I'm basically using uh, enamel paints. Most of these are uh, enamel paints. Engine lacquer. I don't know about that. So, yeah, Hammerites, um, a VHT paint, and, and enamels. I don't think this gold is. Oh, it is enamel. Well, bugger me backwards with a broom. Cool, that's all good. So yeah, there's the first colour, it's the it's yellow, and because this is actually embossed, i.e. The, the, the pattern's raised, I can just give it a once over, and then I can go and paint each individual bit uh, as, it, as it needs to be. As you can see, some parts are okay, some parts need a second coat at least. So I'm going to put that to one side now and let that cook on gas mark blue and uh, concentrate on the base, I think. What should we do the base? I'm thinking black with a bit of silver and a little tiny bit of gold. And I'm thinking, I don't know about green for these sort of like florets, these leaves, don't know. Lots of colors to choose from, mind is boggling. Anyway, I forgot to say just now, if you're new to my channel, Easy Restorations, uh, please um, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you've always been here, hello again and welcome back. 
So, uh, yeah, it's... it's um, quick insight, I, I, I suffer from depression. And I've had an operation, and uh, I'm off work, and... Uh, yeah, that's my history. Uh, so if you suffer from depression, you want to drop me a line or anxiety, uh, it's always good to, to talk. Um, I had a chat come around yesterday, Mr. Richard. A really good talk. We, we talked for hours. And uh, I, I, I felt good afterwards. I felt really good afterwards. And I hope Richard, I hope you did too, sir. Um, and I do thank you for the, for the computer wizardry stuff. So that's good. Uh, this is just something to take minds off of things and... and Get me out the flipping out out the house off the sofa. Um, if you uh, like restoring things like this, um, you know, don't knock it. It's it's a great thing to do, isn't it? The enamel paint will seal in that metal and stop it rusting. The ru the metal is treated uh, with uh, fairy dust so that won't rust. What you what you have to do is when you put a coat on, I think I'm just making it up as I go along. Don't shoot me. Is once you've given it a, a basic coat luckily my brush is like a stippling brush and I, I, I looked back at it closely and there were tiny little dots of where the paint hadn't gone in or adhered to so stipple stipple because moisture will get through that enamel and, the, and it will just rust it and lift the paint so yeah good isn't it right I'm going to crack on now with this base I've also got to think about uh, this um yeah, this piece, the stand, if you like, the yeah. I mean, that reminds me of of the old ventilation tube shafts in London for the underground. Don't know. I'm just. I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. Perhaps. What do you think, guys? Perhaps red for the underground on the on the main parts here. And perhaps red around the outside of there, just to tie that in to that. And that's making me, me think. Think. I like bright colours. You know, it's okay doing it black and look, try, trying to look sort of Victorian and retro, but I don't know. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be red, red. Probably gold. There's a name for that pattern, isn't there? And I can't think of what it is. Please drop a comment below if you do know what it is. Uh, so gold, I think. I don't know about this part. Yeah, I'm doing that like completely different colour. Something like blue or something for. So it's a bit sort of um, patriotic. Come with the the Queenie's Queenie thing coming up with Jubilee, seventy fifth anniversary. Don't know yet, but I'm thinking red, red. Like I say, I don't know. I might even mix some colours up and see what happens. Birdie Birdie. What should we do with Birdie Birdie? It's quite well detailed, but it's it's a basic detail. It's not, you know, it's not, there's no orifices or anything. <laughs> sorry. It's just my sense of humour. If, if you're new to this channel, it's just me. Sorry. Um, yeah, what do you reckon for, for Finchie here? Or is it a tit? Looks to me like a. It's not a robin. Certainly not a robin. I'm gonna say. Tit with its tail in the air, blue tit. We get an awful lot of these uh, around here in the Gardenshire. They love and they nest in these in these um, cherry laurels. So yeah, that's got lots of detail on it, and I really want to make that make him stick out there, make him pop. Right. The beauty is, if I don't, if I put the colour on and I don't like it, I can always change it, can't I? So that'll be. What do you think, Mister? What do you think? Yeah. Could be so ignorant. Look at that. Look, that's beautiful, would not it? That's been refurbished. Caroline refurbished. We've got there's some special black paint which covers a whole host of nasties, and it, it you can go straight into rust with it. It's brilliant stuff. Twenty quid a, t a litre, mine, but worth every penny. I've even gone round my table here. I say I, Caroline even went around the table because this top bead, this is glass table with metal, with metal strap. This table is about seven years old and it w was getting proper skanky. Now it looks new again. So worth the investment. Anyway, I'm waffling again, aren't I? It's good to be back. It's good to be in a place where I can actually get out in the garden. I think that's down to you, Richard, mate, to be honest. 
Like I say, Paul, um, yeah, those bits and pieces, yeah, I mean, pop over whenever you like, my friend. Whenever you like, we can we can chuck a killer in the kitchen, it's not a problem. And that, so, uh, yeah. Right, what am I using to clean my brush? I'm using thinners. I get this stuff from Aldi's in a big litre tin, it's it's sort of three ninety nine or something like that, but it's brilliant stuff, it cleans hammerite even, which is great because hammerite thinners are stupidly expensive little pot for about a tenner so this stuff is awesome and i'm just gonna clean my brush off in a minute and we'll crack on from there i might give birdie no there's no yellow is there in a, in a tit is it or is there i don't know all right give us a right. minute what do you think got some green going on there now that was in a big old car tin paint when i went to lift the top up uh it, it wasn't actually shut because it was all dried around and it it was never closed, so we had a big, thick skin. So I literally can open the skin off, threw it in the bin, and now I've decanted it into my old Nutella uh, container. So there we are, there's that. Uh, yeah, that's ready now for um, detailing. What I'm going to do, first of all, is probably the red outline, because then I can use the red there and there, because it says on the paint, uh, in normal paint, it says on the, there somewhere, leave uh, six hours there we go still well i'll have six hours to dry before recoating six six hours right so there we are um okay that's lovely that mixture in there is looking nice and sort of very olive green at the moment this is something completely new to me but do you know what i'm really enjoying it i've nicked the missus's makeup brushes Shh, don't tell anybody Right, let's get some let's get some colour going. Hmm, getting on quite well this afternoon. I've painted the bird. It started off as something and it ended up something else. So I've created a new breed of bird, a new species. It's uh, a robin tit thrush. So there he is in all of its splendid gloriness. Let's just uh, pan him her uh, it round. I reckon he, he, she, it's going to look nice set on the on the bowl. I had to make up some sort of orangey colour and it turned pink from there to there. It just went pink. Anyway, there's the base. I've added little little bits of detail to the to that. I've yet to go around here with tiny flecks of silver and or gold. I don't know yet. So, and that's that. I don't know. It's all nice and sticky. Yeah. Right now, the base you'll have to wait for. It's just, it's literally just, it's, it's just, where are we? It's just there at the top of your picture. <laughs> right, give me another half an hour. Go get yourselves a brew and uh, we'll go from there. It's been extremely therapeutic this afternoon. Um, it's done me world good. So now I'm going to be painting. I'm looking around already uh, to see what else I can paint. I've actually got a remembrance poppy that's starting to look a bit flaky. Let's have a look. There we go. It's basically supposed to be a bird bath, but I'm sure I can balls that up somehow and and make something out of that. Right, catch you in a minute, guys. I don't know. Can you see that with it? No, you can't. The big yeah. reveal is upon us. I've just been chatting to myself for five minutes and I hadn't hit record. It's about the size of it, isn't it, really? Anyway, it's now a goldfish uh, thrust, thrust, um, thrush breathed beaver. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know. But anyway, it's finished. It's a bit garish. It's a bit, it's a bit Romany. It wouldn't look out of place on on a narrow boat, actually. Take a look. There we are, in all of its splendour and garishness. <laughs> Just have a look at the, look at the detail I've had to do on there. But it's kept me off the streets, isn't it? So, Mr. Robin, there, he seems to have gone. He seems to have a bit of a gold silver leaf thing going on there but there we are what do you think 
comments below. Yeah, I'm smiling. See you later, guys.